Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 10.7, and today I wanted to add in some bass. So if you remember, the issue that we had from the previous session is to actually record notes that we want to play out from the sequencer, or the pattern sequencer from the Mark II, out to another device. We needed to empty add in some silent pads here so that we had something that it could record and play because the pattern sequencer on the Mark II will not record, it'll send MIDI information when you hit a pad, but it will not record it to a pattern if there's not a sample on the pad. And the easiest way to do this is to just record some silence onto the pad. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. So we have um, a couple other, we got this, uh, Dublin bass sound on bank F and with on bank G. We kind of like this electronic bass. So that's cool. I, I don't know. We'll just take and record one of these. So again, I'm just going to do this real quick. We'll record in just some silence and just copy it just so that we have some pads we can play here. And again, just copying silence just so that we can play the pads on the bank. So nothing too exciting. You know, you get a smaller sample so you don't use up as much sample memory for this, but... <laughs> So I'll just do like a simple riff here. Uh, it seems like it's easy enough. I don't know who's calling me. They can <laughs> stop bothering me. All right. So we're going to go to pattern mode. Uh, pattern mode. We will copy a pattern five to pattern nine. We will record. We're going to do our normal. And I need to get back to, what was it, bank F? Yeah, bank F. No, bank B. So I'll just wait for this to come back around. We'll just and I forgot external source needs to be on. I have to go to rehearsal. So you got to remember, hit external source without record on because I wish there was a setting. Maybe there is. Maybe I'll dig again, but. Like, I don't want it sending a MIDI note for external source that I accidentally record in. So, because otherwise it's going to be going back on and off. Anyway, this gets us a goofy, <laughs> it gets us a bass sound anyway. So, I exit out. Now, next one, I'm going to copy 9 to 13. And we have Montreal. It's a electronic piano sound. And I already know I'm going to have a problem with this because the notes that we have on, was, uh, I thought it was bank I. Oh, I'm on pattern mode. I want to be on bank I in sample mode. You can hear, like, these are very bassy. And if I come in, like, if I bring the view up, that's more the where I want to be playing it. And I think the problem we're gonna hit for this is I can play these lower notes, but if I look at the interface, there's not really a way to, like I can play notes, but there's no way to transpose them up or down. The iPad does have uh, some MIDI features, but specifically for gadget, I don't think there's a way to transpose incoming notes up or down. I was hoping that I would come over here and find something where we would have a pitch setting to be able to pitch the oscillators differently. I'm not seeing it here. So I think what you have to do, if you want to do this, well, yeah, I guess it doesn't even matter like to record some sounds. I'll do it anyway. Um, nah, I'm not going to do it. Because I, I, what I was going to say is the... The problem is that you really need to record, you want to record the notes and then pitch them up. 
it's without having it like something like audio bus or AUM where you can t route the MIDI in and then send it, uh, adjust it. What I think you have to do here really is play something and then pitch it up or just record it in the sequencer itself, which makes it more complicated because then you don't have a single source of audio, not audio, you don't have a single source for all of your patterns to kind of keep everything in sync and all of that. So um, my advice would probably be don't do it and just record out the sound and audio into the Mark II that you want for some of these things that are outside the pitch. I'm hoping someday maybe they'll be able to do something where they can pitch audio or transpose your MIDI notes up and down, but today you're not able to do that as of firmware 1.14. So I'll probably do one or two more videos here. Um, I got to think about how to do some of these problems. Maybe I'll show you how to do some of this stuff in like audio bus or AUM. But for the moment, I guess just adding in the bass, that's kind of where we're at is for note, the note ranges that work, they work. For things that are outside of that note range, sometimes you're gonna have to think outside the box how to handle that. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.